Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Zella from a &E Sport. I'm the Group Fitness Coordinator and also a personal trainer. In collaboration with a &E Sport and a &E Learning Communities, today I will be taking you through our first online fitness class. Before we begin, if you have any medical conditions or injuries, please contact your health practitioner for a clearance before we begin. Make sure that you have a drink bottle and a towel and a mat. If you don't have a mat, that's okay. Just make sure that you have some space that's nice and clear for when we do our floor exercise activities. Have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you there. So for our HIIT workout today, we are going to be doing a five to eight minute warm up, a 20 minute conditioning set, and then a five to eight minute cool down, which will include our stretches. In the warm up, we will be doing some activities such as high knees, inchworms, lunges and squats. So just make sure you have enough space and let's get ready to go. So our first exercise, just to get us mobile for the session ahead, we are going to do some body twists. So how to do this, you're just going to stand nice and tall and twist your body side to side for 10 seconds and lift the back heel up, just so we don't jar the knees. So a couple of seconds to go. The next exercise, we will be doing some leg swings. To do this, you're going to stand on one leg, bend that supporting knee, hold your hips nice and steady, extend this other leg up and down. Another option is to bend your knee, and I'll just get you to swing this leg five times, and then I'll get you to swap. If you've been sitting on the couch, it's really important to make sure that we make sure our hips are nice and mobile. Once you've done your five on each side, just come back into the center. The next exercise, we're just going to go into a wide squat with a pulse. So extend the legs out to a sumo squat position, bend your knees, tuck in your belly as well as your bottom, arms go out to the side. Once you're in this position, you can gently move your arms around in small circles, five times and in each direction for me. And then we'll go five times to the other way. You should start to feel that the legs will start warming up. Squeeze the butt. Once you've done five, relax these arms back down. Next exercise, we're doing some body reaches. Stay in this isometric squat hold. Brace that core. We're going to reach up on a diagonal and come back down. So we'll do this for 10 seconds. Keep reaching up and down. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and bringing the legs back in. So another option to our exercise is to do feed the chooks. So that's extending one leg out, toe goes up, you're going to fold forward, swing your arms down and up, and then swap sides. So you're going to do 10 of these, or five inchworms. So the five inchworms, feet hip width apart, fold forward from your hips, Walk your hands down and into a straight arm plank. Brace that core. And then walk your hands back up. Okay, we do five. So you can do this with me or do 10 feed the chooks. Making sure that we are breathing and we're helping to stretch out the back of your legs as well add in some warm up activities for the upper body. With the last two, if you'd like to add a little push up, so you bring yourself down, hands shoulder width apart, elbows go back 45 degrees, push yourself back up, and you've got one more. Good. Next activity, let's do our side to side lunges before we get into our cardio. So wide squat position, once again, and what you're going to do is bend one knee to the side, and then extend and swap. So extending and swapping. We'll just do 10 seconds of side lunges. And you really wanna sit back into the exercise itself. So just keep going. Another five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. So now we've done our mobility, we're going to add a bit of cardio. So the next exercise, for 30 seconds, we're either going to be marching on the spot or jogging. So, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds jog. So you want your chest up, 
shoulders back. And remember, you can march on the spot. So marching on the spot, you're just slowing the intensity down. You still want a slight brace through the core. Or if you want to make it harder, move a little faster. Good. Got about 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, down. Good job. Let's go in to our heel flicks. Next one, heel flicks. So option one is just to lift up your heel behind you, bend your knees and heel flick. So this is the modification. If you want to make the intensity higher, you want to move faster. So jogging on the spot, but this time you're flicking your heels up towards your bottom. And again, we'll do 30 seconds of these. So chest nice and tall, shoulders back and keep moving. Remember the modification is a step lift and that's totally fine. Okay, we've got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. The heart rate should be up. Last one, we've got star jumps and then we'll start into the conditioning. So, option one for star jumps. You can actually just step out to the side, step back in, out to the side, step back in. That's fine. If you'd like to make this more intense, jump out into a star and come back in. You want to bend your knees and land nice and soft when you're coming back down. Ready? Let's do it. 30 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds to go. Remember, the other option is to just step touch. Make sure that you keep your knees bent. Let's do it. Nearly there. Okay, five, four, three, two, rest. Go grab a quick drink. Let's get ready for conditioning. So for our conditioning today, we have five sets of two different exercises in each set. So how it's going to work, it's also known as a superset. So this is where we do one exercise for 40 seconds, another exercise for 40 seconds, no break. Then we get to rest for 20 seconds, then we do it again. Alrighty, are you ready? So the first two exercises that we will be doing, um, we'll be having squat touches and then lunge with a lift. So the squat touch technique, you want feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, toes out. You're going to squat down like you were to touch a chair with your bottom. Touch the ground with your one hand. Reach up and then touch up. So this is just a squat touch. A modification is to just come into the center and then squat down and up. Alrighty. A modification to this to make the intensity higher, you're going to come down with a jump and then keep moving like this. So that's exercise one. Exercise two, you've got lunge with a lift. So, looks like this. Have one foot in front, one foot behind. You're going to drop the back leg at a 90 degree angle. Then you're going to come up and lift this leg nice and high. And you come back down, lunge, lift. A modification to this, you can just lunge. If you'd like to add a little bit more, lunge, and then add a little pop as you come up. So the option, lunge lift, static lunge, or lunge with a lift as you pop up. Halfway, we will swap. So how it's going to work. You've got 40 seconds of exercise one, 40 seconds of exercise two, then we get to rest for 20 seconds, then you've got another round. After that round, we'll do a completely different set of exercises. Let's get to it. 
So we've got 10 seconds before we start. The first exercise is our squat touches. Already? Three, two, one. So squat touches, just like you have already practiced. And we're doing 40 seconds of these. Remember the modifications. You can come into the center, squat down and up. Or if you'd like to make this more intense, just because, reach up, squat down and up. We're halfway. Remember, you can always come back down if you need to. 10 seconds to go. Then we've got our lunge. Three, two, one. Let's lunge. Lunge position, lunge down, stand up and lift. We'll do 20 seconds on one side and then 20 seconds on the other. We've got five seconds before we swap sides. Remember the option, lunge up and down. Swap legs, remember, lunge down and up. Down, up. You wanna breathe nice and easy. We've got three, two, one, and rest. 20 seconds before we go again. All right, you can move around, catch that breath, drink some water. We've got five seconds to go again. So this is round two. Squat position, set, go. Down and up. Now the breathing should be a little bit faster. How are you feeling out of scale of one to 10? Roughly you should be around six. And a seven. Halfway. Remember the option. Squat jump. Or a regression. It was also what we call it. Squat up and down. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Lunge. Lunge position. Lunge back. Get your balance. Down. Up. Modification, you can always go down and up. Really burning, feel it through those legs. Let's try the other side, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Set two. It's the same layout as set one, where we have two exercises where we do it back to back. Each exercise goes for 40 seconds. Then you've got a break of 20 seconds in between, and we do two rounds. So the next two exercises, we're doing our deadlift, just a body weight deadlift. And then we've also got a one leg glute kickback. This is however standing, so we don't need to get on the floor. For the deadlift, technique first, I'm just going to stand on the side, feet under hip width apart, slight bend in your knees, straighten your back, you're going to tip from the hips, hands go down towards your shins, and then stand up and squeeze. So this is option one. Option two is to actually do this on one leg. So you're standing on one leg, bend your supporting knee, Lift up the back leg, you're going to balance. You're going to have that opposite hand up and then come back in. So you're balancing on one leg, really focusing on strengthening up through the back of the leg as well through the glutes. Okay? And then halfway, we will then switch. So whatever leg is up, you want to have that same side hand that goes down. This is to help you counterbalance so you can stay square to the ground. Exercise two. The next one, we're doing a kickback. So practicing that balance position in exercise one. Standing on that leg, this time, balance. You wanna squeeze that glute, activate through your hips. Chest is nice and tall, and you're going to kick up so that we activate the glute. Then halfway, we will then switch, all right? 
Cool. Let's do it. All right, let's get ready for set two. Deadlift, feet hip width apart. Nice bend with the knees, tip forward, and then back up. So this is option one, just so that we're warming up through the back of our legs as well as up through our lower back. Remember, if you'd like the other option, you can always go for that one leg deadlift. We're coming up to halfway. Now you want to breathe in and then breathe out as you stand up. You might feel a little stretch in the back of the legs and a contraction as you come up and squeeze. We've got three, two, one. Let's do a kick back. Stand on one leg, extend the other leg out, nice and tall, and you want you to squeeze that bottom as you lift up and pulse. Once we get to halfway, we will then swap. So focus on the ground, activate through everything that you can holding you up. Okay, let's swap sides. Stand on one leg, lift up and pulse. Couple of seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Rest, 20 seconds. Catch your breath. Grab a quick drink if you've got it. Let's throw again. Remember, you can do that deadlift, two feet down on one leg. It's completely up to you. Are we ready? In five seconds. Bend that supporting knee, chest nice and tall, and go. Remember, whichever leg is up, you want to have that same side hand pointing down to the ground to help you stay nice and square. We've got five seconds to go. And then swap sides. Remember, you can just go back to a two feet. Then lift up and down. Good. Second exercise. Going back into our glute activation. Stand on one leg, lift the other leg up, squeeze that glute, hands back, and pulse. Let's focus on our balance, chest up. Make sure that you are breathing. Couple of seconds to go. Swap. Other side, leg up. Pulse. Remember to bend that supporting knee so that'll keep you nice and stable. Couple of seconds to go. Three, two, one. Done. Good job. So the next set that we're going to do, same layout as set one and two, except two different exercises. We're on the ground. So if you've got your mat, place it on the ground. If you've got a towel, you can place it under your hands, it's fine. Push-up position, we've got push-ups and then back extension. The push-ups, spread out your hands, bring them down to the ground, shoulder width apart. Then, bring your body weight over the top. If you can only do mini push-ups, that's okay, we're strengthening up through your chest. Knees or toes, what you wanna do is to keep symmetry. So feet together or down on the ground. Bring your body weight over the top, you're going to bend your elbows 45 degrees and then push yourself up, brace your core. The belly shouldn't touch the ground. So, you're just gonna do a push up, up and down for 40 seconds. Your second exercise is a back extension or a superman. So you're coming down onto your belly, extend your arms out and extend the legs out. We're working the lower back to really strengthen up through your posterior chain. To do so, look down. You wanna lift up the alternate arm and leg, squeeze your glutes and squeeze the upper back. Come back down and then up and squeeze. So breathe in, breathe out. So those are your two exercises. Let's get ready for set three. So push up position. Hands wide, coming over to begin. Okay, let's get ready for set three. Push-ups, push-up position, wide hands, bring yourself over the top, knees or toes, keep symmetry, down and up. 
You want to breathe in, down. Breathe out as you push yourself up. Brace that core. I will let you know when there's 20 seconds to go. If you'd like to make this more challenging, you can always go onto your toes, go into your push-up. If not, just come back down. 20 seconds to go. You want to straighten that neck so that we keep alignment through your spine. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Superman, come down to the floor. Arms extended. Make sure everything's nice and straight. Breathe in, extend, breathe out, come down. Squeeze the upper back. Squeeze the glutes. And what you want to focus on is to make sure that leg is nice and straight. We're halfway. If you'd like to make this a little bit more, you can do double skull. So you lift both arms up, pull back, arms forward, down. Okay, rest. 20 second rest. You can have a little pull back here. We've got one more round before we have the next set. Have a drink, get ready for round two of push-ups and supermans. Spread out those hands, knees or toes, body over the top. Let's go, push-ups. That's halfway. If you need to take a little break, it's okay. Otherwise, keep going. Got about 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go down. Into your Superman. Lie on your belly, extend your arms. Legs out, last round. That's halfway. Keep going. Number alignment. Nice and straight through the spine. Squeeze that glute. Remember double skull. Lift up. Squeeze your upper back. Come back down. We're strengthening up through your upper back as well as through the lower back and glutes. Three, two, one. Rest. Pull back. Have a stretch and a little rest. Good job. So the next exercise set, set four, we'll be doing mountain climbers and side planks. So this is focusing on the core, adding a little bit of cardio as well. So once again, have your mat ready, have your towel and drink bottle as well, and come down to the floor. The mountain climbers, you've got a couple of options here. You can either be, have your hands underneath your shoulders so they're nice and strong. Bring yourself up and over the top, bend your elbows slightly, and then lift up your feet, squeeze and tuck your core. Then you're going to drive your knee up towards your chest and then swap. So option one is just to drive and lift. If this is a little bit too much for now, that's okay. Come down onto hands and knees and then tap the alternate knee. We're still working the core, it's just a little bit less. If you wanna make this a little bit more intense, you increase the speed. So once again, lifting up, Drive the knee up towards your chest. We are, however, doing 40 seconds, so pace yourself. Then the second exercise, you've got side plank. So come down, I'll show you the modification first. You lie on your side, arm out at a 45 degree angle, hand behind your ear, bend your knees to keep you nice and balanced. And then you're going to come up, bend your elbow, squeeze the side of your back, and then come back down. So up, squeeze, down. Side plank, elbows directly underneath your shoulder, knees stacked, straight line. Then have one hand down, lift yourself up and hold. So this is option two. If you'd like to go for option three, extend your legs out, top leg is over the top, 
so that you can hold yourself up. And once again, halfway we will swap. All right, let's get ready for set four. Let's do it. Mountain climbers, superset with side planks. Hands underneath your shoulders, let's do it. Shoulders back and down, lift your bottom up, knee to chest. Once again, you have the option of going faster to make this harder, or come down to hands and knees and then tap the opposite knee. That's halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Down and side plank. Side plank position, elbow directly underneath your shoulder. Stack your knees and lift and hold up and breathe. Remember the option to make this harder or easier. It's completely up to you. That's halfway, swap sides. Remember to make this easier, come down to the ground and do a side crunch. We're still working the obliques. It's just less pressure on your shoulder. Up, hold, breathe. Rest. Completely, 20 second rest. Let's go again. Round two, mountain climbers and side planks. So get into your position, hands underneath your shoulders, pull them nice and back. Brace your core. Are we ready? Set, go. Knees up. That's halfway. Keep going. Remember the option. Tap if you need to. Good, side plank. Last round. Elbows down, stack the knees, lift up, hold. Remember to lift through the hip to activate those obliques. If you want to make this a little bit more, but not too much, extend. Swap sides. Nice quick transitions. Keeps us in that working range. Remember to breathe. We're nearly there. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. So the last set for today, we're doing our core. So we're going to be lying down on our back on the mat or the towel. The first exercise is a crunch and extend and the second exercise is a flutter kick. So the technique first, we're doing our crunch and extend. So lying on your back, getting nice and comfortable in this position. Have a slight brace for your core. Your legs are going to come up into a 90 degree angle. Arms are above your head. You're going to breathe in, breathe out, crunch, touch your hands towards your toes, extend your knees out, and then come back in. So this is a crunch, an extent, with a little bit of a frog kick. Then your second exercise, you're gonna have flutter. So hands underneath your hips, have your knees slightly bent and you're going to flutter your kicks. Another option is to fully extend your legs. Are we ready? Yes? Good. So, just to get ourselves prepared, brace that core, shoulders back. We're going into our crunch and extend. You wanna breathe in and then breathe out as you crunch up. Okay, set and go. So you wanna crunch up. Breathe out, crunch in, and then extend. You do have another option. Instead of extending both legs, is you crunch in and then extend one leg out at a time. Now, the lower you low the legs, the harder this is going to be. 
Now, if you are finding this is quite difficult for your lower back, it's okay just to come up, leave the legs where they are, crunch in, and then extend the arms. We're more than halfway now, so keep going. You wanna breathe out as you crunch up. Next exercise, flutter kicks. Hands underneath your hips, lift up the legs, up and down, and then come back up again. You can add a little twist, working those inner thighs as well as the core. That's halfway. Again, if you find this quite difficult for your lower back, bend your knees and you can just gently kick the legs up and down. The hands underneath just helps you with that pelvic tilt. Okay, let's have a rest. So that's our first rest. Get ready for round two. Now you've had one round, you can make it harder or easier as you need to. Remember, first exercise is our crunch and extend, and you've got multiple different options to choose from. Are we ready? Set, go. Crunch in, extension. That's halfway. If you are starting to fatigue, crunch in and then extend one leg at a time. Or leave the legs where they are and then just crunch up. Good. Exercise two, hands underneath your hips, flutter those legs. This is the last exercise for today before we get into our stretches. Halfway now, remember if you're fatiguing, bend your knees and then just let it kick your legs. If you can go that little bit more, you've got a little bit more in the tank, just move that little bit faster, but with control. two, one, rest, well done. Bring your knees up towards your chest and then just rock side to side. And then stop. So we've just completed our hip strength workout. We are going to go into our cool down. So the cool down is going to take five to eight minutes. If you do have a bit of time after the cool down to add more stretches, totally fine. To get into our cool down position, just stay on the ground and we'll just do a couple of body twists before we go into our static stretches, okay? So you wanna just lie on the ground, have your knees up, feet up, and then together. Extend your arms out and gently twist side to side for me. We wanna slowly lower that heart rate before we go into our stretches. And I'm just going to do one more for each side. Bring it back into the center. Let's uh, change this one up into a windscreen wipe. So I'd like you to move your feet so that they are hip width apart and then a little bit wider. Keep the feet on the ground and then move your knees to one side and then the other, just like a windscreen. So we're opening up through the hips and slowly lowering that heart rate. And then let's bring it back into the center after this last one. We're going to go into our lower back twist. So you will have one leg to the floor, one knee up at 90 degrees, and then gently twist across your body and then open up the chest. Whichever way your knee is pointing, you wanna turn your head the opposite direction. And you should feel the stretch through the lower back or glutes We'll hold this for 15 seconds and then we'll swap. And then let's swap sides. So 
So bringing it in, one leg down, one knee up at 90 degrees, twist across the body, open up the chest, and once again, look the opposite way to wherever your knee is facing. And you should feel a stretch through the glutes and lower back. You can add a little bit more to have your hand on your knee, but if not, you can just let it go. And then let's bring it back in. Let's go into a piriformis stretch while we're lying on the ground. So this time, you're going to place one ankle onto your knee, open up the hip. If this is enough, stay in this position. Otherwise, lift up the legs and then grab through to the back of your hamstring. Gently pull the legs towards you, shoulders back and down and hold. Once again, we'll do 15 seconds on each side. And then we swap. So once again, ankle on knee, open out your hip, lift up, and then grab through. Good, relax this one down. Let's come up into a seated position. So gently roll up, and then I'll get you to turn and face the camera. You're gonna have one leg out and one foot in. So turn your body towards the leg, and then we're just going to fold forward for a hamstring stretch. Once again, holding for 15 seconds on each side. And then swap. So extend, foot in, turn your body What's towards up? that leg, and then What's fold. Make sure your back is nice and straight. Okay, three, two, and one. Let's slowly come back up. Let's do an adductor stretch. So this time you're going to have your feet together. Grab onto your toes or you can hold onto your heels. Knees go out wide and you want to stretch out through the inside of your thighs. We don't want to bounce, we just want to hold because we're doing a static stretch. So we'll just hold here for 15 seconds. If you can go a little bit more, you can gently fold forward. But remember we're stretching and there shouldn't be any pain. and then slowly come up. Let's go into a hip flexor stretch. So to get to that position, you're going to come into a kneeling position and have one leg out. Think of a 90 degree angle with both knees. Whichever leg is back, that same side arm goes up so that we're stretching out through the side of your back and then lean up and over. You can have the other hand onto that uh, thigh so you can rest and balance. Once again, we'll do 15 seconds on each side. And then swap sides. So one leg out, 90 degree angles, one arm up and over. Great job. Let's come up into a standing position. Last couple of ones before we are done. So have your feet under hip width apart. We want to focus on posture or we want your shoulders back. Then what you're going to do is clasp your hands behind your back, keep your wrists straight and then gently pull your shoulders back. If you find this is quite difficult, that's okay. Leave the hands, open up, turn the thumbs down, spread out the hands and then look up and stretch out the chest instead. And we'll hold this for 15 seconds. Remember, you have the other option, hands behind, and then open. Good. 
and then relax this down. Lucky last, we'll just do a neck stretch. So feet hip width apart, drop the shoulders back and down, tilt the head to the side and hold. You can add a little bit more just by gently placing your hand onto your head, just don't apply too much force. And then let's swap, other side, last one. Hand on head, and then tilt. You might find there's a bit of a stretch through your neck as well as your upper traps. If you are working on the computer a little bit more, it's really important to make sure that you're stretching out through your neck as well as through your upper back. And then relax this one back in. Let's just do a gentle head roll. So close the eyes, roll the head around, just one way and then back the other way. And then relax. Okay, there we have it. Thank you for joining us for our first online hit strength class. I hope you enjoy it. Once again, my name is Sarah Zella. I'm from ANU Sport and we thank the ANU learning community for letting us do this today. Please, if you have any comments, send it through. Otherwise, we'll see you again next time. Bye.